Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we're taking a look at the Qualcomm reference design tablet. This is newly announced here at Computex 2013. So it's uh, not exactly the thinnest tablet on the block, but that's because they want their partners to differentiate and make it thinner on their own. So this is actually running a Snapdragon 400 processor, which is you know a mid-range uh, for the masses kind of processor. So what we have here is a PSU we, uh, with micro USB. There we have the HDMI. We have a SIM card slot micro SD card slot and an audio jack. On the back here we have a camera but the thing is that can be any megapixel because the manufacturer can take that and do exactly what they want with it. It is not getting hot even though it's running this this great graphics benchmark here so you can see there's a hundred fish and it's a 1280 by 7 well 650 6 window size here but the display is actually 1080p so it's more than able to handle that we've also got a front facing camera there on the front you can see that black on black in there but what's interesting is is that we do have this running on a 10 inch device but there actually is a 7 inch device right over here so you can see oh not quite on there we go oh turned it off that yeah, there we go it's okay, I got it. Okay, there we go. So you can see that it's on a 7-inch device as well, running the exact same demo. So what's nice about this is that Qualcomm's reference system isn't just 10 inches, it can scale down to 7 as well. So taking a closer look at this device, we have the same set of ports, um, micro USB, HDMI, SIM card, and micro SD with a headphone jack. Again, there is another camera there on the back. And the thing is, is that I would love to see it as thinner, but then that's the job of the partner who decides to pick this up. This is also running on the Snapdragon 400 processor. Over here, again on the 400 processor, they're showing off uh, another reference design uh, that is actually Snapdragon's audio effects. So if I could put these headphones on for you, you would see that the audio quality is quite good, and, and it's not, uh, well, it's, it's basically an option for manufacturers that don't want to do any kind of branding. So unless they don't want to brand D DHC, or maybe Beats Audio or whatever these things are, so then they, they can just actually have improved uh, audio quality without having to co-brand with anyone, keeping the price down. Because the point of the Snapdragon 400 is that it is for budget devices that are going to the masses, that we're going to be trying to see these. Um, actually, China is one of the big pushes for this platform because we're going to, because of uh, a new 3G integration, uh, sorry, 4G integration that Qualcomm has just announced specifically for China Mobile. So this has been Nicole Scott here at the Qualcomm booth at Computex 2013 taking a look at some new reference designs from Qualcomm.